The Cooling Games is a collection of some of the most powerful and vicious sorcerers of all time. And because of this, our main cast desperately needs to grow stronger and more skilled in order to match up to the competition. Now I already made a video talking about Yuji Itadori and how underpowered he is at this point in the series, but in this video, rather than talk about Megami's current inadequacies within the Culling Games, I want to talk about one way that he can become a true competitor. If you track the major battles in the Culling Games thus far, you'll notice a distinct trend. Every battle contains the opening of one's domain. First it was Higuruma, then it was Megami, then it was the trio domain casted by Uro, Ishigure, and Yuta, and most recently it's been the domain spamming from Kinji Hikari. In all of these fights, domains played a massive role in the outcome of the battle. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the domain expansion of Megami Fushiguro and how we can evolve it to become a combatant that rivals even the top tiers. Currently, there are two glaring flaws with Megami's domain, both of which stem from him not being able to create a barrier. The first problem comes from the fact that a barrierless domain is very easy to escape. If Megami is unable to find some sort of structure to keep his opponent contained within, there is nothing stopping them from just running away to the outskirts of the barrier, making it a massive waste of curse energy and a major loss on his end. As shown in his fight with Reggie, he can bypass this current weakness by finding some building to act as a makeshift barrier, but this limits the viability of his domain as he would only be able to cast it in very, very specific scenarios. The second weakness of Megami's domain is the fact that he doesn't have a can't miss technique imbued into it because of the lack of a barrier. This means that Megami really only gets the benefit of having his technique's potency dialed up to 11 and his own power dialed up while within it, but he really misses out on the finishing capabilities that domains like Gojo and Mahito have. If his opponents are massively faster than him or just have enough speed to counter his attacks with a mix of dodges and blocks, his domain becomes super impractical as a finishing move. Now, this did work in his favor within the context of the ready fight, and while you may think that gaining a sure technique would mean that Megami loses uses this distinct advantage against simple domain users, I think that we've been shown a method that would allow Megami to have his cake and eat it too. The user of this method is none other than the King of Curses, and the character I think Megami must take after if he wants to grow strong, Ryomen Sukuna. A character like Sukuna may seem like a weird person for Megami to take inspiration from, but considering the parallels between him and Megami and the fact that Sukuna really has what Megami lacks in terms of domain, I think it would do you well to just listen to what I have to say for a second because it's all about to click. In chapter 171, Megami makes it clear that the creation of a barrier is very difficult for him which is why his domain doesn't have a barrier in the first place. This problem of his can be bypassed in two separate ways. The first is to simply do the work and learn barrier techniques and become skilled enough to cast a barrier along with his domain. Considering Megami's massive amounts of knowledge, skill, and potential, this should be possible for him. However, we don't know how much time he'll have to refine his barrier techniques within the realm of the culling games, so this might not be very realistic to expect from him right now. The second way, the way that has been called the quickest way to get stronger by Mei Mei in chapter 102, is by making a binding vow. What kind of binding vow would be useful to Megami in this situation, you may ask? Well, how about one that allows Megami to forego a barrier altogether while still maintaining the sure hit aspect of his domain type? I don't know about you guys, but that sounds an awful lot to me, like Sukuna's domain. And for someone like Megami who's having trouble using barriers, something like this makes a ton of sense. The buildup and foreshadowing for it also seems to exist. For one, there are tons of parallels between Sukuna and Megami that harp on the two character similarity in terms of demeanor and even the manner of which they fight. On top of these already existent similarities, there's a very specific line from Sukuna that really makes me think that Megami is meant to have a domain not constricted to the likes of a barrier. Let's use the open space. A short line that Sukuna mentions in his fight with Megami, and a line that at first glance doesn't mean much at all and could just be interpreted as the words of Sukuna sadistically toying with Megami. But with the context of Sukuna's domain, and the fact that he was extremely pleased when Megami pulled off his wet fart of a domain expansion, it seems to make sense that maybe Sukuna's words aren't as simple as we thought they were. You see, barriers are inherently antithetical to the idea of open, unconstrained space which Sukuna tells him to make use of, the same open space that he himself makes use of. What if, and just stay with me here, what if Sukuna was trying to tell Megami what he was missing in his own twisted and confusing way? 
What if he's trying to tell Megami that the way to strength, or at least a path to strength, is to have a domain unconstricted by the likes of barriers, which 99.9% .9 of the domain expansions we've seen are restricted by barriers. They are restricted by the limits of their own uh, lack of creativity or skill, like Gojo, Mahito, Jogo, and several other domain users. I mean, it's not super strange to think that considering we've seen Tsukuna's words aid Megami in combat, even when Gojo's didn't. Why is it weird to think that he is trying to goad him into creating a domain with no barrier, a domain with no limits, just like him? It makes sense with Megami's character, after all. A character who has always limited himself mentally, a character who had mental barriers blocking him from his own potential. What could possibly be a bigger sign of growth on his end than a domain expansion with absolutely no limits. If what I'm theorizing is possible, and this is something that Megami has the potential to do, this would fix both of his domain problems in a snap. People wouldn't be able to escape his domain that easily simply because of the extended range of the Binding Vow would grant, and he would also gain the sure hit ability that would take his potential lethality to a whole nother level. The final major upside to Megami using barrierless domains is that a simple domain in Hollow Wicker Basket simply would not stop the effects of his domain in this hypothetical. Now for all those that heard that and were confused, let me quickly explain. Referencing chapter 171 once more, we see that Megami uses his imperfect domain which Reggie tries to counter with Hollow Wicker Basket. The reason this technique does not work is because neither hollow basket nor simple domain negates techniques themselves. Rather, they target and neutralize the barrier of the domain, which then nullifies the can't miss function of it. If you are somehow able to achieve a domain as divine as Sukuna's, which requires no barrier, in theory, the simple domain or the hollow wicker basket has nothing to target. It has no barrier to neutralize and due to this would be absolutely useless meaning that if Megami achieves this domain divinity, he'd be damn near unstoppable when he decides to open his domain expansion. Just think about it for a second. Megami expanding the range of his domain, meaning that he can encompass more opponents at once. People also wouldn't be able to escape very easily and his attacks would be sure hit. And on top of that, simple domains and hollow wicker baskets simply would not act as a proper counter, leaving only a more refined domain expansion to counter him. And if he is so refined at this point with his domain usage, that he can make a domain without barriers, there aren't many characters in the series that have the refinement ability to compete with that. Any evolution of this caliber would skyrocket Megami's combat potential and truly allow him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the strongest sorcerers that the Kulang games have to offer.